Welcome to the breathtaking region of Saguenay, Quebec, Canada, a haven of untouched lakes, rivers, waterfalls, and mountains, offering endless natural beauty. Located about two hours north of Quebec City on the eastern side of the province, this region spans along the Saguenay River, which opens up to the St. Lawrence River, ultimately connecting with the Atlantic Ocean. Join us on our latest adventure as we immerse ourselves in the world of craft beer, reconnect with nature and the awe-inspiring landscape surrounding the area, and delve into the captivating Quebecois culture and history. Number one is the Saguenay City Center. When we're referring to Saguenay, this is the general region of a lot of townships in the area. The main city center is called Chicoutimi. Nestled against the mountainside, this charming French city boasts a delightful boardwalk along the Saguenay River, a pedestrian bridge for crossing to the other side, and a variety of restaurant options. We highly recommend taking a leisurely stroll through the city streets to fully immerse yourself in the authentic Quebecois ambiance. As you explore, you'll come across numerous historical landmark signs providing insight into the region's French settlement and significance of the area. Chicoutimi is a nice blend of natural beauty, quaint surroundings, and historical French charm. Number two is hiking the fjord. One of the top attractions in this region is the Saguenay Fjord National Park. While the park offers various hikes and activities, if you seek adventure, consider the Via Ferrata. This is an exhilarating climbing expedition along the cliff edge of the fjord. Unfortunately, during our visit, a landslide occurred, resulting in the park's closure while we were there, so we weren't able to partake in this experience. However, this region is extremely mountainous, so we were able to choose alternative hikes outside the main park area. We opted for the Sentier Uchi hike near La Baie. This trail offers routes of 3 kilometers, 6 kilometers, or 12 kilometers, showcasing breathtaking views of the Saguenay River and even featuring some intriguing ruins. One of the top highlights of this underrated area is the opportunity to enjoy these scenic places with limited crowds, creating an exclusive experience. Number three is whale watching. This is an incredible experience that you can't miss out on if you're in this area. As the story goes, some whales spend around half the year in the Caribbean waters for mating and then migrate to this particular region in Canada to feed for the rest of the year. By the time they've arrived here, their hunger is insatiable, having refrained from eating during mating season. During our excursion, we were fortunate enough to encounter two different humpback whales and a few playful harbour porpoises. If you're lucky, other whales can be spotted in this area such as belugas or mink whales. There's also seals, and if you're really lucky, you might even see a blue whale. The tour we chose respects the whales in their natural habitat. Instead of enticing them with food, they study the behavioral patterns and locate them in their feeding grounds for observation. Observing the whales in their natural habitat was an incredibly humbling experience. Plus, we got to wear these cool outfits. Number four is Tadoussac. While whale watching is undoubtedly a popular activity in Tadoussac, it's a shame to overlook the other remarkable aspects of this charming town. Start your adventure by strolling along the main strip, where you'll find many small shops and encounter the historic Hotel Tadasac and Trading Post, both of which offer glimpses into the town's rich history. For beer enthusiasts, make a pit stop at the Tadasac Microbrewery to try their unique brews and savor the flavor of local craftsmanship. For a breathtaking view, we recommend doing the quick climb to the Pointe du Lille, where the Saguenay River meets the St. Lawrence River. Here you can enjoy a panoramic view, and if you're lucky, you may even catch a glimpse of whales from this vantage point. Overall in Tadoussac, you'll discover a town that's brimming with history and numerous unique shops, delightful local beer, and scenic viewpoints that will leave a lasting impression. Number five is Parc True de la Fe and the Lac Saint-Jean region. 
Parc True de la Fay is an underrated park that costs $34 Canadian per person and grants you access to a guided tour of a cave, a 1.5 km hike featuring three waterfalls, two suspension bridges, and multiple lookout points. And when I say it was a cool experience, I mean that very literally. Inside the cave it can get quite cold. Even in the summer it will drop to about 5 degrees Celsius, so remember to bring a sweater. The park resembles a canyon with a flowing river offering a stunning natural landscape. Don't be fooled by its seemingly small offerings. The park is actually quite extensive. We spent over three hours exploring and absorbing the beauty of the surroundings. Despite being in the peak season, the park had minimal crowds, creating an exclusive and tranquil experience. Nearby the park lies the touristy Lac Saint Jean region, boasting several charming beach towns. If you're a craft beer enthusiast, make sure you don't miss the renowned Lac Saint Jean microbrewery and its bistro restaurant. If you're in the area, make sure to carve out time for this hidden gem of a park and the offerings of the Lac Saint Jean region. And that's a wrap on our trip to Saguenay, Quebec, Canada. Here are a few tips we picked up along the way that are worth mentioning. First of all, having a car is essential as the region is relatively isolated. When it comes to reservations, there's generally no need to pre-book or reserve activities. We found that there was ample availability when booking on the spot. And lastly, this is a pretty French-speaking region of Canada, especially in Quebec. It's not as bilingual as you'd find in Montreal or Quebec City, so be prepared for this linguistic difference during your visit. The effort is undoubtedly worthwhile though, as many of the places we visited felt like private havens with minimal crowds. We hope these tips in this video will prove helpful to fellow travelers seeking to explore this remarkable region. And as always, bye for now! Wow.